The title to this piece is your choice between the human omnibus, or as I prefer to call it, I assume that wisdom looks a lot like insanity, but what the fuck do I know? I'm nuts. If I could get a shot at picking my last words, at choosing what I would be remembered by, I would try to say something like, I don't regret a thing. Not any of the pain I caused or received. Not because I reveled in it. Believe me, I did not. But because I learned. And for every mark and bruise I received, I'd like to think I left a brighter mark somewhere else. But if I didn't, just know that I spent what I consider to be the truest periods of my life Living in such a way that I could learn something new about myself, about everything and everyone around me. Because I am wrong about everything. But that is nothing to be ashamed of. It is a perpetual opportunity to learn and become so much more. When you are wrong about everything, you have before you an open book with the most ripping tale you'll ever read. But you'll never reach the final page. You'll never get the whole story. And even though you know that, you read it anyways. Because what you do get is enough. But we don't often get the chance to choose our final words. So I can only hope that when my time comes, I say something that makes a difference to someone. Defined by my ability to tolerate discomfort, proud of my ability to translate dumb shit, I am sick. I'm not sure I was ever really living. I want to be at my spiritual best, but recently I've reevaluated giving. I am stressed. There is no but. I am fucking stressed. Truth is, some days it's anyone's best guess as to when I last got dressed, because I've been wearing depressed for damn near 20 years, and it feels so cozy, like homey. Why try when I can cry to the song Fly by Highly Suspect on repeat as I drive in my friend's car Cause I'm homeless and broke, like, I'm the punchline to my own jokes, and even though I'm not laughing, I swear to God, I'm cracking up. These delusions are stacking up, I got a pile of letters that read, you are enough. But they come from individuals that exist in my life only when they can do so, 
by a thumbs. I am surviving on emotional crumbs, but I wouldn't call it living. It's more or less just elongated quitting. I exist betwixt either side of nothingness, chased by fear while seeking bliss. I'm falling into ideals and ideas I cannot seem to change, nor fit into this world. I am falling. I aimed to find the inspiration for creation that comes from the numbness that is nothingness, yet the numb has dumbed down all aspects of life in every respect, except fear. And so I am always nearing in on my goals, but nearing in on is like multiplying by fractions and attempting to reach one. I'm done, but I can't be finished because I'm not yet whole. I can't be finished because I am terrified to face my soul. I'm going to take a trip East, West, don't give a shit. I just know that there's a me that I want to be and that there are perspectives that I need to see before I can achieve that. <laughs> it's whack. That we spend our whole lives looking with our eyes and the ability to see as others do can only be obtained through listening. So, I'm off. Not sure where to, it's less about the where and more about the who, and even then it's less about the who and more about the what they make of what they got. You see, you'd be surprised by how often a whole hell of a lot can look just like poverty and vice versa. The financial type is the less frequent type of bankruptcy, and we're in an economic crisis. Christ, it's like the deaf blaming the blind for miscommunication, except it's wage-based discrimination. We are employees of a nation where your value is based on income, but not necessarily output. Medicine is a retail business, and so is school, so we can kill off the useless and repurpose the fools. They sell us our own lives, and we pay because we believe them when they say that life should not be free. But I'm gonna be. Because I'm gonna take a trip. East. West. I don't give a shit. So long as I'm learning. So long as I'm loving. Eat the rich. Fuck this shit. I'm gonna go be free. I used to have just a few very good friends, but then they taught me about family. So when I say I die for them, what I truly mean is I've been living for them for years. They're what I picture when I'm overcome with the fear of having to do all of this again tomorrow. They are reason enough to endure this perpetual sorrow. Sisyphus cannot touch this shit because my boulder rolls uphill both ways. I can count on two hands all the reasons I have to stay. And they're all proper now. I spent so long seeking out the profound that I forgot that beauty resides in the mundane, like and how two flowers from one bush will never be the same. Randomness trumps design because how could we ever find an inspiration so pure as nothingness? 
Yet I find this nothingness in the inspiration for the things my family does for me, in the explanation for why they love me, and in what they expect in return. I have learned to chase nothing as hard as I can from my friends turned family, and f for that, they have earned all I could ever give. So I'ma start giving. I'ma start living. I'ma start thriving by driving across this country and seeking the definition of kindness. I want to find the exact words to explain what it means to be truly kind. And when I find it, I'll present it to my family and I'll say, This! This is what you gave me. Thank you. But I can't leave yet. Because I'm always tired, but I can't sleep. Mine's racing as I sink deep into the cushion. Right now, you know I'm surfing the way my body is. You know I ain't working. I'm trying to flip stocks while I take stock of what is and isn't worth it. Most days, I gotta force it. Gotta smile while I can, because it's hard to plan a day around being randomly interrupted with stomach convulsions. Trying to find new reasons not to act on these morbid fucking compulsions. Like, shit. Give me a sec. Let me get a bowl lit. I'm tired of being human. I'm a snort turmeric in my room and spit. I'm tired of my proclivity towards ruin and shit. I'm sick of wishing I was different. I'm sick and I wish it was different. I'm sick of not leaving any footprints. I'm sick and I wish somebody could fix this. But the reality is, I'm sick. And no one with the power to change that gives a shit. They can clock out and pause this clip like it's nothing. I've only got two nickels so I'm rubbing them together like I'm trying to start a fire, but in reality I'm just trying to inspire someone in a white coat to bust out a stethoscope or probe about my insides. I'm losing sight of the concept of pride. Can't remember the last time I cried so deeply or so often. This apartment is taking on the aesthetic of a coffin. I've never been so close to tossing this shit to the wind. Fuck! Man. I really need a win. I ain't got time to waste, but I'm wasting away. I gotta drive to write, but I'm not sure what to say. I'm supposed to greet the morning and be thankful for each day, but as the pain gets worse, I'm struggling just to stay awake. I don't believe in fate. But an insurance company valued my life at a quarter mil. The rich guy I sold it to for rent money gave me 12 grand. And when I take stock of everything I've accomplished... I don't understand. How'd I get that much? See, I've got such a self-defeatist attitude that I'm on both sides of the battlefield. I'm so eager for glory. I show up to a gunfight with a sword and shield. I'm so scared to fail. I'm Swiss cheese before I yield. Or I just never start. I am the proverbial horse before the cart. I am the eggs that hatched before you counted. I am the peaks of unclimbed mountains. I am human. But I am poor. So I guess that makes me less than.